Mm-hmm. Crazy Nuts, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Let's start the timer. Bro. What? So, uh, there was a guy from Akron. And hey. This, and this mofo. Back home. Comes out in the news. Akron, Ohio, by the way. Uh, that he fell for a catfish scam and he paid some girl $200,000. Wait. <laughs> it... It's not a scam if it's two hundred thousand yeah, dollars. It's not so, a catfish scam. You you got you you look. It, keep going. <laughs> keep going. I'm well, gonna I'm gonna think the well, words so he, and they're uh, gonna come out. So it, it was it was it happened and he went to the news about it. I don't know why, but anyways. So he said that. Uh, and then so anyways, I listened to a radio show in Cleveland and they actually called and got the guy on locally because they're from Cleveland. Yeah. And he came on. He was talking to the radio show host guy and he was like, "So how do you how do you?" spend that much money yes on a person that's and he was like it's, it's it was about the connection man the connection we were yeah. connecting anyways and he goes so are you a virgin like is are you that desperate are like you a virgin like are you wow. that desperate that you he goes it wasn't about that at all it was about the emotion man and no. like we were gonna start a life together and da 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 and, and he goes blah 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 i gave her all this money and gift card he did the gift card and bitcoin thing no. and then he goes we had properties and this and that and he goes well where were the properties He's like so and so West Virginia, and he goes, "Didn't you just think to drive down to West Virginia, which is like three hours from here, and look at the property that you supposedly no. own?" But dude, we trusted each other. It was, uh, and, and he never video chatted with her. See, he, this that's that's what I mean is that this wasn't necessarily a catfish scam because when you're that naive, yeah, I, I don't even know if you can call that a scam. It, it, like, like what is that? I question your IQ as a person. It's what, that is what I'm saying. Like like you trying to say is he a disabled man? <laughs> like basically. <laughs> it's like just taking advantage of a disabled person. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> right? You're not wrong. Or like, like not like, to, and we're not even trying to be mean and ugly. Like it's no. cause it like you figure the app the app you have to ask yourself, would a normal person do this? Yeah. And the answer is most normal people would have a general idea something was wrong. Before it got that deep, yeah, I think that it is. It's a, it's a, it's a dishonorable to call this a scam to all the the scammers out there that are putting actual work into their scams. Yeah, I don't know, man. But he ended up. He gave. He ended up borrowing all. twenty thousand dollars from his family. Ah, deal, And you know. then he said, "How they found out was when he went back to his parents for another twenty thousand oh, dollars. They were God. like, What is going on?'" And they said, "He showed them. He's like, I showed them a couple something, and they told me immediately I was being scammed." I'm like, "Bro, like, were you in the learning disabled classes growing up?" And like, because he. And the other thing, the radio shows. Oh, he goes, "You have balls, man." He went on the news and told everyone. Sorry, what? <laughs> He's like, you got some balls. You had the balls to go on the news and admit you did this. Oh yeah, and that kind of shows you something else too. Is like, I don't He's know. like, I'm gonna maybe, go to the news. Maybe he's thinking like, if he goes to the news, he can possibly get the money back or something. But it's probably okay. gone. Listen, it's this what? I mean, go ahead. I'll, I got. So, I, got I was so. gonna say this stuff happens to old people all the time, though, man. It's very true. Now, old people aside, because old people, their minds can be feeble sometimes. They don't know better, whatever. They, they they didn't grow up with technology. I feel yeah. anyone our age, little younger, or a little older, I mean, knows better now. Yeah. Because, okay, we started the internet when the internet was pretty new, basically brand new. So mm-hmm. we've watched it evolve from where it was completely safe to be on. <laughs> to what it is today where it is a goddamn it is like it's a choose your own adventure book that like you can easily just like die and there's even the dark web which is even worse right apparently. right so but here's the thing i think everyone has encountered something that maybe in the past they were like oh is this a real thing or whatever you know what i mean like on the internet and like not necessarily that you've been scammed by something, but that you've been like, oh, like what, like just something happens or like sign up for this site and you get this free thing or whatever the, whatever the deal is. Mm-hmm. I mean, and then you get the, and all those cam sites are the worst because there's always people pretending to be cam girls trying to get you to sign up for cam sites and all sorts of stuff. Why are there so many busty nubiles in my area? Yeah, right. So there it's, yeah, there's always going to be something out there trying to like take your money. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen a lot of it, man. We've seen the Nigerian princes. Right, like, even those. And it's like, how do people think that's real? Like, what are the odds that, a, like, a Nigerian prince is going to reach out and just want to give you a bunch of money? Like, <laughs> how are you so naive? <laughs> right? <laughs> how could you actually think that you could donate money to stop the steal? Like, <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? Wow. But, like... <laughs> Tell me that wasn't a scam. I mean, what? Well, I mean, dude, that's how co ca campaigns work, though. They just, <laughs> they're just like, give us your money, we'll do stuff with it. Trust us. So all politicians are scamming us? Yes. Oh wow, you're not even. Wrong. I think there's like 10 percent good ones, probably maybe 15. There are some good ones out there, but I'm sure they're still making extra money off the top somewhere. <laughs> there is there is definitely more benefit to being a politician, state level, city level, or federal level. That's better than the paycheck. Yes. So it's, yeah, you may not get paid a lot, but you, there's, you're presented with options that you would not get if you were not in office. And it, it's usually ways to make money, like investment opportunities or what, or kickbacks or whatever. You have tons of opportunity to make money other, other than your salary. Yeah. 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 And you got to get the money from somewhere. Yeah. And then you owe them a favor. And then and that's why all the <laughs> corporate entities. Yeah. No, and that's, dude, because all works. the corporate corporations lobby so hard. So, like, the government can't attack Big Pharma or any of those things because they're also bought and paid for by donations. That you. So if someone a, a, donates 10% of all of your political fund and then you're like, I want to do a law that, that outlaws this thing. And they're like, we gave you a billion dollars for your thing and you're going to not you're going to you're going to shut our business down. Yep. And then how is that not a conflict of interest? I mean, they did it with codeine or they're trying to with the opiate opioid. Right. Everything. So it's like it, but so it's but it would benefit in this, all of mankind if like big corporations didn't have that much say in what happened and we did what was right for the country and the people and the you know and it's but yeah, it's it's out I wonder of control how now. effective the government would be if everybody was uh, made like thirty thousand dollars a year. The government? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everybody, you. That's all you could make. That's all you could make was thirty thousand. Oh wow! Do they mean make as much as like a? I mean, garbage man. Hey, look, you're not in it. Public you're, servant. Thank you. You are in it to help people. If you're Dude, truly, a you know what I would even caveat philanthropist. That? They take a low salary while they're a member of of the government. Completely free healthcare. Anything, any sort of part of part, no part of their government benefits oh, wow. are that they they get healthcare for free. Oh, so basically they just go to Canada. No, yeah, most but, places but I mean, have free healthcare. The fact that your American ass is like that's oh, what I mean, dude. But that would be a benefit here that wouldn't work other places that people would want to do it because they'd be like, oh, I get all my uh, health stuff taken I see care what you're of, saying. and it's it keeps our government officials healthy and like. I mean, I guess, man. Right, but like... I honestly feel like we need to get most of our old asses out of there. Oh, dude, fresh I blood. would support 65 as a cap at any position. 65 is ridiculous. Because, cause yeah, when you are when you have somebody who's 80-something doing anything important, they don't understand current culture yeah. to the level that they need to to understand what ha needs to happen. So, if, even dude, even if, like, yeah, the oldest you could be for president was 60 or 65, yeah. it would keep the president in a... The generation now mentality, or maybe the gener one generation back, to understand those people better, to know what they need to do to set yeah. the future up to be better for. Because you're, you're talking to a person that that saw the best years of their life, where things mattered the most to them, forty, fifty years ago. Yeah, dude. Yeah, like that doesn't make a lot of sense to me, and I I I, I, I agree with that. And that's um, why I think they don't understand stuff like marijuana legalization and like gay marriage and like that stuff takes forever because they're like, no, they shouldn't do that because they shouldn't. And you're like, <laughs> but it's people. People been people doing do it. it forever. Yeah. It's very popular now. God Sorry. damn it, no. Sorry, but, there's nothing you can do about it. We're gonna do it anyway. Right, exactly. So it's like it's just weird. It's like yeah, you let the, it's like you let the. People who were, yeah, big, yeah. big players 50 years ago. They, yeah. It's like they're grasping onto their power forever. That's <gasps> right. You really want to stick it to a politician? Get out there and marry a man. Everybody listening right now, go marry Every a man. Every man, woman, and man. Yeah. Marry Every, a man. Every man, woman, and man marry each other. <laughs> All right. Go to thecrazytown.com. Subscribe. And uh, we'll be back, Jonas. See you in Oh, yeah.